now it's time to prepare the battery pack for the electric rock roller and uh, I will use two battery modules from BMW E3 and uh, they are 12S each so I will connect two in series and I will have a 24S and I will use a smart ant 24S BMS and this one is rated for 300 amps but uh, if you look at the size of the cables I'm not sure if it could handle 300 amps but uh, I will try and uh, what I will do I will first determine which one will be my negative side so I can start wiring and I will you can trace from the original BMS and this you can see there's one of these slave BMS but I will not use this one but uh, I will trace each cable so I can start with uh, the first B minus side and then I will start connecting the, the BMS with this uh, wire loom so I will first um, cut this and uh, so I can Connect them in series and then we'll start to measure so we will get everything correct. And when you start uh, doing the wiring, don't cut this in one cut because then you will have some <laughs> ignition. Uh, you start taking one at a time and then solder to the wire loom one by one. That's the safest way. And also measure with the Kilometer each cell so you get it right otherwise you're gonna have some fire into your BMS uh, this is uh, will be my minus side and I have this a bit longer cable and I will cut this one and, uh, connect it to the BMS minus B minus side here with these uh, connectors and then uh, isolate it properly. Yes, done like that. And then I'm going to use this uh, connector. And then I will use this tool to get it crimped together. But uh, I must move these models away because I use a big sledgehammer to, to get it properly pushed together. Yes, and to isolate these uh, wires, I use this uh, shrink hose. I don't know the English word. With the glue inside, so it it melts together. And uh, I will use two sizes because this is wire a bit smaller. So I will use so I will build up the dimension of this one to fit the, the, the bit thicker one. To, yeah, to isolate this part. Well, I have to rig this so I don't destroy the BMS while using this sledgehammer. Something like that.
Yeah, like that. Yeah, now just Yeah. Yeah, like that. Well, now I extended the wires and we'll put this one, uh, the B minus in the bottom. And here I have the BMS connected to B minus side and this is minus on the battery pack. And then I will put the, the other battery on top and I hope. So this is plus and to the minus side on the battery module on top and then I hope it will be long enough. And then I will just take the plus side to the contractor and uh, I think I will have to solder the second battery module in place on the in the battery pack because otherwise I mesh calculated here and it's uh, it doesn't it, it's not 12 and 12 it's uh, odd numbers on these uh, connectors to the battery cells so, but I can make the first one here and solder to the cells. But I'm gonna try if I can get this other battery pack. Yes, that will work. Well, I have these uh, temper sensors who was uh, with the package with uh, <coughs> and BMS, and uh, it's uh, figure out if I can maybe use the BMW's uh, temper sensors if they are the same resistance. Thirteen uh, point. Three kilo ohms. And this is the sensor here. No, 125 kilo ohms, not close. And there is also two wires from uh, the plus and minus side. So I think I just cut one there also, just to make it this easier for me. Here we have the temperature sensors, I removed them. But this is quite easy because you can follow the serial connections here. So I don't think this will be a problem to, to wire this up against the ant uh, BMS. But I must, uh, this is not correct with the BMS I have. There is uh, temperature sensors are there, but the LCD screen is wired up here. So I must check with the internet again so I get the correct drawing. Otherwise, maybe you make some mistake and that's not that funny. Here you can see I uh, numbered the cells and the connectors, uh, the, each loom, so I can easily follow where to connect my uh, BMS wiring. Well, I found the uh, correct wiring uh, 
diagram on the internet and uh, I was lucky because uh, there is uh, number 12 here that means that it's only 13 cell 13 who's going into this first uh, connector and that means that I can uh, solder it on the next battery pack here on my bench I don't have to be uh, soldering it in, in place in the battery box and then I can just leave this wire loose and connect it into this uh, connector when I'm fitting it into the battery box and this is uh, not complicated I just start with the B minus and then I take uh, number one and uh, continue on this uh, each cable here and each wire on the battery module just take it step by step and uh, cell, cell by cell so it won't be that different and then I can also measure here so I can see I got it correct number six cell number six and uh, here you can see that this number six and that is this wire red oh should be that one then no it must be that one Number six is that wire. One, two, three, four, five, six. And number six, yes. And so on. 24 of them. Well, now I soldered uh, the two looms for the BMS, and uh, you can see here I started with uh, B minus, and then the next cell is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on. And here I come to number 12. And uh, now you must be very cautious if you do the same thing, because uh, because I'm going to connect these two models in series and I connect it to the next module over here that connecting point is still number 12 and then the next cell comes as number 13 here's why I made popcorn on my BMS when I connected the Tesla modules before because I started counting 12, 13, and that's where it got wrong. So now it's correct, I hope. So this is 13, and this is this wire. It's going to be connected to the connector and the first wire loom. And then I continue with uh, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 224. And you can also measure the kilometer here. You can see. Uh, you start with uh, B minus, and then you have each 3.7, 7.4, and so on. So you can check your wiring as it is correct. Well, now soldered uh, temperature sensors and uh, also connected them into the 
places where the original time sensors were, but uh, the, the wires were a bit, bit thicker, so it was a bit problematic, but um, I think it's okay. So now I'm gonna put this into the battery box, into the row crawler, and then I'm gonna fit the BMS and see if it works. I got the first module in my battery box, and uh, here you see the wiring from the BMS, who I will uh, connect them later. Uh, now I will put the minus cable in place, but I think I'm going to put some isolation between here so it doesn't vibrate and uh, damage the wires. Well, now the second module is in place and I, I'm trying to get this BMS wire as good as possible and also find the best place for the BMS itself. I think I'm gonna make something to hold it there and also I'm trying to get these two temp sensors in a good spot and then I will connect it all together and check out uh, the voltage between all the cells so see if it, everything is okay and then it's time to connect the BMS and see if things work. Yes and now you can uh, before I connect the BMS I can check all the polar voltages here with every cell. So it's, uh, I've done that and it's all correct so I can connect uh, the BMS. Now I've connected all the wires to the cells and the temperature sensors. And uh, I also got this uh, quite tightened here. I drilled some holes in the, in the aluminum here and put some strips and also on the other side. And it's uh, no problem. And now I'm going to connect the on and off switch to the BMS and there's no smoke yet so I'm quite happy with that. Let's see how this is supposed to fit here. Zero. Okay, now it's time to turn it on. There was a signal here. I think that is the, the thing is blinking there is the Bluetooth connection, but I haven't uh, downloaded the app yet. And uh, I think I must do that on my tablet and then try to connect it and see if I can, if I can get any readings. But it's no smoke, <coughs> and that's a big uh, step forward for me. So I'm going to turn this one on and then I will download the app. Yes, I was about to download this app so I can see all the measurements on the cells into my tablet. But then I went inside and I found uh, the app on Google Play. But then I have to pay for it. And uh, I was when I was, was about to download it, I figured out that I forgotten my password on my Google account. You. Uh, I found out that I needed that one, but uh, so I got a bit frustrated, so I will not fiddle with this uh, Bluetooth connection app for the moment. Um, and I checked the default settings on the BMS, and it's the same as my cells are, so I will not do that now. I will continue co connecting this uh, motor and controller and see if it runs. So if you want to see how that turns out check out the rock crawler rebuild video it's uh, i can have a link in this in the, in the description here